Good afternoon, I'm Heather Gann. Thanks for joining us for this news update. A local judge has barred prosecutors from telling jurors about a former astronaut's drunken driving conviction during his upcoming trial over a wreck that killed two young girls in rural Alabama. Tuscaloosa County Circuit Judge Alan May issued the ruling in the reckless murder case against retired NASA space shuttle pilot James Halzell, who has pleaded not guilty in the case. Halzell was driving a car that crashed into another vehicle, killing two young girls and injuring their parents. He refused to voluntarily submit to a blood alcohol test at the crash scene. His trial begins next month. Some 600 state inmates are being moved to other prisons in Alabama because of deteriorating underground utilities at Holman Correctional Facility in Atmore. Plans were already in the works to decommission the facility because maintaining the aging facility's utilities had become cost prohibitive. The 2020 legislative session is set to begin next week. Dealing with prison overcrowding and inmate and staff safety is expected to top the list of priorities for legislators to deal with. Some speculate that the state needs to spend more than $800 million to build at least three new prisons in the state. The death toll is nearing 200 in the coronavirus outbreak in China. So far, 38 people have died from the virus in the Wuhan province. A group of 210 Japanese evacuees landed yesterday at Tokyo's Haneda Airport. Reports say that at least nine passengers tested positive for the new virus. France, New Zealand, Australia, and other countries are also pulling their citizens out of China. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has declared a health emergency as the virus has spread to several countries outside of China. In addition, Russia has moved to close its border with China. Back here in Alabama, a former police officer in Montgomery who killed an unarmed black man has been sentenced to 14 years in prison. A judge handed down the sentence yesterday for Aaron Cody Smith. Smith was found guilty of manslaughter by a jury last November for the 2016 shooting death of 58-year-old Gregory Gunn. Smith claimed that Gunn fled from a stop and frisk and grabbed a painter's pole, saying that he shot Gunn in self-defense. However, the jury did not believe that Gunn was ever a threat to the officer. That's a brief news update. I'm Heather Gann, and thank you for watching.